Father, we thank you for your love. Thank you for your peace. Thank you for the joy you give to us. Thank you for deliverance that comes upon us. Thank you for leading us in the path that is good for us. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Today we are going to read Obadiah. Obadiah verse 17. Obadiah is one chapter. We're reading verse 17. But on Mount Zion there shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness. The house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. I think we like the first part and the last part, but these are three different things put together. Number one, deliverance. God comes to deliver you. The Spirit of God, the power of God, all of it is targeted on you to deliver you from the hands of wickedness. The cross of Jesus, Jesus died on the cross so that you might be delivered from the power of sin. Deliverance. You take yourself to God and ask for cleansing, for deliverance, for anything. You reach out to God shouting in your oppressed state and God delivers you. God does his own side. He delivers you unconditionally. God does not give a condition for deliverance. All of what you do is get to him, that's all. There is no condition whatsoever. God does not deliver you because you are holy. God delivers you in spite of your sinfulness. God delivers you in that state that you are in. But the devil is about to finish you. God brings deliverance. That sickness is about to close you off. God brings deliverance. God delivers you. But the next line says, and there shall be holiness. Has God delivered you? He is expecting you to live according to his standard. He expects repentance from you. And he says, show fruit worthy of repentance. God has delivered you. The only way you can continue to live in that deliverance is to live with God. And to live with God, you would have had to repent. You say, who is the person that can live in the holy hill of God? It talks about a repentant person. The person who lives a different kind of life from what used to be. Have you turned around from who you were unto whom God expects of you? Have you? But if you have not, well, that's a problem. That's a real issue. And it shouldn't be a problem after now because you have the opportunity now to turn around. God accepts everybody who turns around, the prodigal son, as he came. That's all. That's all he needed was to get back to the father. And before he finished talking, the father had enthroned him. You can turn around even now. There shall be holiness. Don't let anybody tell you that God doesn't want anybody to be holy. And some even say we can never be holy. But God cannot behold iniquity. And the scripture clearly says, without holiness, no man can see the Lord. Without holiness, you have no relationship with him. There shall be holiness. And then the third part comes in. The house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. That's the side we like, but delivered holy and possessing what belongs to you. And that's where God says in the scripture, I did not say seek me in vain. There is a reward for seeking God. When you get down to the life of holiness, God rewards you with what had been lost. God returns to you everything of yours that was lost. God gives you a better life than before. He gives you what your possessions are. We have lost so much. I'm not talking about what the devil took away from you. I am talking of the fact that because I am doing what God does not want me to do, the things he should have given to me, he has not given. Because I am living an unrighteous life, the things that I should have gotten, I have not gotten. But when I come back to holiness, those possessions come back to me. That's where you possess your possessions. When you live the life unto God, he gives back to you what your life should have gotten from the beginning. We are losing too many things. There are too many things that have not come our way. There are too many things that were designed for our own lives, but we can't get them because of the life we live. Turn around so that we can live with God, and then God will give us everything that pertains to our lives. Thank you, Father, for the one that turns around. You will receive his possessions. Thank you for deliverance. 
The purpose of deliverance is so that we can learn to live with you in holiness and then become fully fulfilled in life. May that fulfillment come to your children who have turned over their lives to you and help us, Holy Spirit, to live holy, indeed holy, in all things, in word and in deed, in Jesus' name. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with you now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.